Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday market webcast. All right. Um, we're consolidating, which is not unusual for, um, for the first week of January. You got the jobs report on Friday. We talked about that a little bit yesterday. What, what you're doing here is the 50-day still, and, 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 and now you see the 20-day, which is a green line coming down to meet the 50-day. That's capping everything. It's been capping everything uh, since the middle of December. What we've done now for the last going on five, actually six sessions, is we keep dealing with the nine day on either side. So you got the nine day, here's an hourly chart. So you got the nine day, you got the weekly pivot and the daily pivot. And you can see how close, I mean, these daily pivots are just, I mean, it's the same damn pivot. Um, you've got a battle on either side, at least through Globex you did. So you yesterday's regular session was false breakout, initially potentially a false breakdown, then they sealed it off. They sealed off the nine. They sealed off the weekly pivot. They actually did a really good job of it. Took it down. Then they started giving it up a little bit into the close. So for us, it was a it was a nice day. It was a great way to open the year and the week and all in the month and all that stuff. Um, a couple of really nice shorts, 80 from 60. Um, Another one, 59 quarter, which was just a freebie when it came back into that weekly pivot, was one that I didn't think we were going to get. Um, and then we ended up long 31, which, you know, I got stopped out of a little bit ago because I, you know, I rolled my stop down to 51 and got stopped out at like 7.50 in the morning only to have it go all the way back up to 70. But that's trading. So I'll take, you know, it. it the bottom line is, it's volatile enough. It's giving you what you need to get to get things done. But there are going to be moments this week, kind of like last week, where the thing is just going to slow down. And instead of trying to turn that into a very exciting personal moment for you in your trading, just don't trade the chop. Stay out of it. Um, this entire Globex pretty much has been chop. Um, so the key numbers today. You've got volume weighted average price is now sitting on top of weekly pivot, the whole thing at you know 38.58, nine days at 60, proprietary moving average is at 61, you know, 62. So we've been down to 51, up to 70. It's all about this, you know, this 58 to 62 thing, and we're back down to test 62 right now. So we open in about 20 minutes. I'll be curious to see what happens. So, what does everybody need to do today? Look. The bears actually did a good job of closing below weekly pivot. But in true bear-like fashion, they go ahead and give it up. So now what? Well, now you got to do it again. They need to close below weekly pivot. They also did a good job in taking out the Friday low. What do they have to show for that? Nothing. But it is what it is. So last week's low, 38.04 half, you know, if you're the Bears, I think you got to get there. Whether you have to wait till jobs to get it done, I, th I think you need to get there. You need to start being comfortable if you're the Bears. You need to start being comfortable trading something with a 37 on it. If you're the Bulls, every time you get anything with a 39 on it, you absolutely fall on your face. So they've chosen the 100 handles that they want to hang out in. They want to hang out in the 3800s right now. And that's fine. They're doing it in a in a volatile enough way that as far as you know day trading the minis goes, it's fine. We can certainly pull our numbers out of the market, and we don't do anything exciting in in in, in the room. We still through it all, twelve years now. We're you know we're looking for four you know just a four handles a day every day consistency consistency consistency. A lot of our people can get that done in you know 10, 15, 20 minutes, and then they go do their real job, or they just you know they go in a simulator. Some of them continue to trade because they're more experienced, and you know we put in a full day. But you know this this tape is giving you enough to get your days made. Don't give them back, and try to be consistent with it. Um, but until this 50 day up here on top, which has been capping everything, until that becomes support, the bulls really aren't going anywhere. And until we start living in 3700s and 3800 seals into resistance, as far as the downside goes, we're not going anywhere. So 
Here we are. We're consolidating. We've been consolidating. We're going to still consolidate. This is Friday, the Friday before Christmas. 3850s, 3860s. Here's right now. 3850s, 3860s. It is what it is. Don't try to make it more than what it actually is. A lot of people are super bared up out there. A lot of people are super bold up, although the bears are definitely outnumbering the bulls right now, which you would expect. But the reality is it's a consolidation tape. So treat it that way. Respect it. Stick to your risk. Take your profits where you find them. If it starts to head in the other direction, don't get stubborn. Just it is what it is. Eventually, you know, whoever wins this 100 handles between 30, you know, this 3,800 block, whoever wins that 100 handle block, as my friend Tony Rago says, who trades the NQ for us in the room, whoever wins this 100 handle block is going to get the, the, the first quarter of 2023 leg for the market. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well. Come check us out. We will make you a better trader. We will make you a better trader. Take care, trade them well. Talk to you tomorrow.